Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to my video today. My scorched earth challenge for April, which I've got to do. My cows and some yarn chat. Just a bit of a catch up. So guys, I was watching Dana from Dana's Wonderlush Crochet and she was talking about the scorched earth challenge and I went, <laughs> I didn't give you a catch up on what I did in April. So my scorched earth challenge is about my yarn usage stash yarn usage the stash yarn that i've bought with no particular project in mind that just keeps sitting there so in april i used 1114 meters which equates to about 1217 18 yards i made the crochet beanie with bag a day and knitted the urban yarn bush tracker beanie i did do a video the tale of two beanies you can check that out. I'm sure you'll find it interesting. Um, that was a lot of fun. I did Zeta's Calendar Cow. I made a tea cozy. I think I nailed the colours in the picture for April. I couldn't come up with a cow. Cows are difficult for me. They're just not my thing. But I really like the colours, the way they turned out in the tea cozy. I attempted to make an echidna tea cozy. Uh, which looked nothing like an echidna. I did finish it, um, but yeah, it was pure wool from my stash. And my Nan's Next Knots Cow, uh, the yarn usage that I used in April for that, which happens to be more yellow. We've had yellow three times. Number eight. Number four is missing in action. He's in the tub, but he won't get drawn out. I love this cow. I think I've said it before. I'm really enjoying it. I'll have to measure it soon. If it reaches the limits for my lap gan for charity, then he may be finished with no number four. But I would like to put number four on there because I do have a lot of that colour in my stash. Yes, this was all stash yarn that I buy because... They put it on special. Olivia's Stitch Cow. What happened to Olivia's Stitch Cow? Well, my fault. I left a pro the project laying around. It was a blanket doing all the different stitches. And we had a little visitor who fell asleep on it. Um, unbeknownst to us, woke up and decided to have a nice chew. And it was ruined. You couldn't rescue it or save it. Um thing has frogged some of it and saved some of the yarn. I'll probably just use that for little dog coats for the homeless shelter for the little dogs down the road. Um, there's like a, a shelter. They call it homeless dog shelter. And they try and find a new forever homes. Um, and, yeah, winter is coming, so little dog coats will be needed. And that's what I'll use that yarn for. But I was really enjoying that cow and I decided I'm going to keep going. But rather than make a blanket, I'm doing stitch samplers and I plan to put them in a lap gan when I'm finished. And they're turning out different shapes, some square, some not so square. And that was the plan. It'll look kind of different for me. I've done um, seven weeks. I think we're up to week 11. So I am slowly catching up. And I intend to do as many as I can. I think it's, they renamed it or re-hashtagged it. It's Olivia Stitch Cow, Olivia, or oh, Never Ending Stitch Cow. Um, we keep going until Olivia gets sick of it. And if I've got enough, I'll put them in a lap gown. If not, I'll just keep going till I'm happy. But I like the idea of the different textures in the blanket. I think it'll make a nice donation to, um, the dementia patients at the hospital because they can run their hands over it and get different textures. I'm still using Lion Brand Pound of Love, as you can see, because I have heaps of it in my stash. I deducted um, Olivia's Stitch Cow that I used in March off of there, which made March and April. I used slightly more yarn in April, and I will put this all into May when I've finished, when I've caught up not necessarily finished for my zetta's calendar cow i'm going to stretch myself and try a new technique i have actually found a cow i like and i'm going to try something new so wish me luck with that 
I'm doing the paint the plant pot challenge, but the weather turned kind of funny and I couldn't really use paint in the humidity. And it just so happens this week, the craft store decided they would put some paints out on special, buy two, get one free. And I decided I would get some new colors. So I bought two, got one free for my paint the plant pot challenge. It has cooled down, the humidity is dropping. So hopefully I can do that challenge soon. I'm also doing two more new challenges for May. I am doing the spooky spring cow. I was watching Kerry Penny from Happy Crafter, Happy Crafty Homemaker. She has started a spring, spooky spring cow for May. As soon as she said it, an idea sprang to mind and I wanted to do it. And over the weekend, I've jumped in. I've already made half of it. I love this idea. So yeah, I will put a link to that if you're looking for a new challenge. And this morning I was watching Ricola from uh, Crochet Corner with Crystal. She was talking about Granny D's cow and I hadn't caught up with her. So I went over and watched that. And Granny, Nip, Pearl and Squirrel, Granny D is having a May Moss Stitch crochet along. Now, it's the crocheted Moss Stitch, not the knitted Moss Stitch. I have knitted heaps of things using the knitted Moss Stitch. But when I checked out her tutorial on the crocheted Moss Stitch, I don't think I have ever made anything using it, to my recollection. I looked at her to crochet. It's easy enough. But I've just never used it. So I think that's a good challenge for me to try a new stitch and make something a project for her crochet along. I may even make an extra square to go with my stitch along because it's a new stitch for me. I don't need any new challenges but I love them. This year I've really enjoyed doing all the crochet alongs, all the make alongs. Having the birthstone make along is awesome. We're into May, we're five days into May and people are already crush, um, posting pictures on Facebook. Green is popular, but someone did use yellow, so that's nice. But yeah, it's fun. Um, they don't have to have prizes at the end of it for me. I just like doing it for fun because if it challenges me or takes me outside my comfort zone or I can try something new, it's the perfect time to do it, to do a challenge and a crochet along and make a new project and try something new. <sighs> I don't, I've got so many whips to finish before the 21st of May. It's unbelievable. I might have to take time off work, which brings me to, I've got two days off work and we're going up the Tablelands tomorrow, Thursday, uh, for some family stuff. But while I'm up there, there is a big craft shop that only opens on Thursdays. It's part of a lady's home. She has some boutique yarns. She has the most amazing array of fabrics. I don't sew. That's lucky because I'd need a trailer to bring it all home. Um, if she lets me take a video, I will. But it is part of her home. So she may say no. She's not keen on that idea. Let's hope I can resist the urge to buy yarn. I haven't bought this much this year. And if I buy yarn, that will sort of offset my scorched earth challenge. On the way up there, about half an hour away, is a little news agency that stocks the crochet magazines I like. I'll have to have a stop there. They have a coffee shop next to it, buy a coffee. And guess what? Across the road from them, a new yarn shop has opened up. And they're open on Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays. So it would be very rude of me not to call in there and have a look. I'll try to resist the urge to buy yarn, but don't count on it. So guys, thank you for watching. Stay safe. Take care of each other. And until next time, make sure you have one crafty day making something you like, but not having to redo a project. Bye for now.